goes down and that's finished and the grass pollen goes crazy. Right. And then, uh, you know, got later in the summer we get the, you know, weeds and ragweed. Mm -hmm. It just the never variety ends. Pack. It never ends. I so, know, yeah. Let's I know. give you some good news here. Okay. Uh, the rain is moving out, the patchy showers. This uh, time lapse is from Arlington from the Army Navy Country Club. Bright uh, sunshine and clear blue skies early this morning. But through the uh, late morning, clouds rolled in ahead of the cold front. A few little sprinkles in the area. Sun tried to peek back out again. And now we have some clouds. But listen, it all clear out later this evening. And you can even see a few patches of blue here as we uh, look out live over the skies of Arlington. Still a few kind of uh, random showers left over behind the cold front. Uh, not heavy at all. One of the heaviest little shower is headed up towards uh, BWI Thurgood Marshall and just north of there right now. But generally just a few light showers that are on their way out. And I think by 7 o'clock, all of it should be east of the Chesapeake Bay. Temperatures have been falling now at lunchtime. We were still in the lower 70s at Reagan National Airport, so we're down to 61 now, 50 in Gaithersburg, lower 50s north and west of town, and that trend will continue this evening. After we get 6, 7 o'clock, these gusty winds should diminish a bit, but we still have some gusts to 29 miles per hour at last reported Reagan National, 23 at Manassas, 24 mile per hour gust in Hagerstown. So the winds will diminish a bit tonight, and with clearing skies, that is going to get pretty chilly around the area tonight. We expect temperatures by early tomorrow morning under partly cloudy skies to range between 34 and 45 degrees. So that's chilly around here. A little bit of a breeze too out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we're looking at temperature wise, the cold stuff, really cold air now across the Great Lakes. Some of it will come this way, but again, we're not looking at temperatures in the teens and 20s, but definitely several nights with low temperatures in the 30s as we have the sustained push of northwesterly winds and slowly the warm air in the mid to upper 70s will continue to get pushed a little farther to the south. This is the way it looks with satellite and radar. The front is east of our area now. Now, the west northwesterly winds come in, and I mentioned last night, and I'll mention again, this area of low pressure, as long as that sits and spins across the Great Lakes, it may not move much the next week or so. Temperatures will tend to stay below average, should stay dry until we hit sometime Saturday evening when a little disturbance goes by the area. But our future cast show generally clear skies tonight and early tomorrow morning through the day. We may get a little bit of cloudiness. The winds will continue. Uh, this model shows that late tomorrow night, a sprinkle could pass by. It'd be very brief. Then we back to partly cloudy skies and more sunshine for the day on Friday. The next chance Saturday night for a little bit of light shower activity. So for the morning, wake up to chilly temperatures, 42 downtown, 30s in the suburbs will climb to about 59. It'll be kind of windy tomorrow as well. And then into Friday near 60 degrees, still breezy with a lot of sunshine. Saturday, partly sunny, but by evening and nighttime hours, a little disturbance could give a little light rain. That could last into Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon will clear out. And on Monday will be sunny, 65, 60. 67 on Tuesday. Our average high now 69, so numbers continue a mm -hmm. bit below average. Okay, Doug. All Looks right. good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, we've got a little bit of breaking news right now. In just the last 10 minutes, an appeals court has overturned a conviction against Barry Bonds, the baseball player. Bonds gave a rambling testimony in a uh, steroid trial in 2003, leading to courts calling it evasive and misleading. That ruling has just now been reversed. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we've all got.